Hi guys, so today we're going to do what in my opinion is one of the best oxtail recipes ever. It's just beautiful. So what we're going to do, we're just going to get a large container big enough for your oxtails. I'm probably going to have to put it into two containers actually because this oxtail is pretty big. We're going to go in with a tablespoon of sweet smoked paprika. We are going to go in with one table of Worcester sauce. One tablespoon of light soy sauce. I'm just going to grab a spoon because we're going to also go in with three tablespoons of tomato ketchup. This just makes for the most beautiful, unctuous oxtail. It's just lovely. Then we are going to go in with one chopped pepper, one large or two small chopped carrots, one large chopped onion, one chopped chilli, red or green doesn't matter, it's up to you, six chopped fresh tomatoes. This also helps create its own gravy with all of the juice from the tomatoes. We're going to go in with three grated or crushed cloves of garlic, like so. One more. Lovely. Then we've got a small bunch of fresh thyme and a small bunch of chopped parsley. We're just going to give that a quick season. So as I say, the, the, the meat is actually marinated in this, so it just gives the most beautiful beautiful unctuous flavour. Then the only other thing I am going to go in with is I've got some Aromat which is Nor All Purpose Savoury Seasoning. So I'm just going to go in with a generous shake of that. And then that's my marinade pretty much done. So I'm just going to give that a little stir around. Now we're going to go in with our oxtail. Now this is a whole oxtail, it's about two and a half kilo. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, any of the bits that are really big, some of them are actually quite huge. So I'm just going to slash a knife through some of the bigger pieces. The little bits can just go in as they are. Like so. So I'm just going to carry on and do this till they're all in the marinade, give it a nice big stir together and leave it in the fridge for about four hours or overnight. So my oxtail's been marinating away quite nicely in the fridge and all I've got here is some soft brown sugar and some olive oil and this should just help it get a nice crust. So we're just going to go in with each piece of oxtail and we just want it to get a nice caramelised brown crust all over each piece of your oxtail. So we're just going to carry on until I've done every piece. So these have all now been nicely browned off. The smell is amazing already. Now we're going to go in with all of our marinade ingredients. So as much as this sort of takes a while, 
there's not really that much hands-on cooking with it. Look at that. Then I'm going to go in now with some beef stock. Now this will produce a lot of its own liquids because obviously the fat in the oxtail is going to render down. The tomatoes are going to produce some juice. So all I'm going to do now is cook this now for about three hours. So I'm going to bring it to the boil and then I'm going to get it to a light simmer and then just simmer it now for three hours. So this has now been bubbling away for three hours. So all I've done now is I've taken the lid off and I'm just going to bubble it away now for probably another 20 minutes just to thicken it up. And I'm also going to add a tin of kidney beans as well, which also helps thicken it up and makes it a little bit more substantial. So what you can do now is you can just cook it away for 20 minutes, pop in your kidney beans and eat it as it is. Or if you prefer, I know some people don't like things on the bone, especially children. So you could always just cool this down now. And then when it's cool enough to handle, pick all of the meat off of the bones pop the meat back in and then just simmer that through so it's almost like a ragu. But basically this is what you get, the lovely unctuous oxtail.